When we start a new part, we have three fundamental planes and an origin as our starting point to build our new part upon. None of these can be deleted or modified. Therefore, if we use these to mate parts together, we have an unbreakable mate that are easy for the computer to solve and provide automatic centering. As long as we design origin-centric parts, this type of mate is perfect. There are a few things we can do to make creating these types of mates easier. We're going to start by viewing the planes that we want to be used in the mate pair. I've got two components here that I want to mate together, and notice there's no flat surfaces to easily mate, so that causes a little bit of a problem. My first mate I want to do is click on mate, choose the top of this part here and the bottom of that part there, so those are mated together. Click OK, and go ahead and turn that off. Next, what I want to do is I want to center this part here in the center of this part However, notice there's no faces to easily mate. So what are we going to do? First things first, what I want to do is I want to turn on those planes so I can see them. So go up here to view and make sure I have planes turned on. Now I can view the planes. Now I can go to my first part here, expand out the tree, come down to the planes available, and I can mouse over them and show the different planes that are available. I don't want to turn all these planes on, but I do want to turn on the ones that are going to be useful for producing this mate. So the front plane, that looks useful. Let's go ahead and turn that on. The top plane, not so much, but the right plane, for sure. Show that plane. So notice those stay active in the view window. And you can tell a plane's active by looking at the icon. It's a colored in icon versus just the grayed out one. Let's do the same thing for the cone. Come down here, the front plane, that looks good. Top plane, not really. And the right plane, again, looks good. Now it makes it really easy to mate these two components together. Come up to mate. I'm going to choose the front plane of this one to mate with the front plane of that one. They just slide together. The right plane of this item and the right plane over here. And again, they just slide together. The great thing about this mate is it takes a little extra preparation, but it's an unbreakable mate. Those fundamental planes are in both of the parts right from the beginning. I can delete the entire part and the mate will still be there and it'll be just fine. So use these. It's very easy for the computer to solve these type of mates because it's using the foundational plane that's there from the very beginning. By far, plane mates are the strongest types of mates, and by using them, you can build almost unbreakable assemblies. In small assemblies, this might not seem like a big problem. However, as your assembly grows, it really can help out. Having failing mates can cause a cascade of effect that can really make for a bad day.